And staying with the big stories today, it's a setback for SpiceJet. The Supreme Court has directed the airline to pay the entire arbitral award that is due to Kalan Thimaran, the former promoter of the airline. This after the cash-strapped airline failed to pay 75 crore rupees to Maran, as was earlier directed by a court order on the 13th of February. Kalanthi Maran has claimed the outstanding arbitral dues to be 380 crore rupees. The apex court has also come down heavily on SpiceJet for what the court says is luxury litigation. Ashmit standing by with the details. Ashmit, uh, you know, where does this leave matters now for SpiceJet? Well, their options are increasingly limited. They were hoping uh, that there's some form of settlement with the Marans may take place with this upfront payment of 75 crores. But that clearly did not happen. Keep in mind that on 13th of February of this year, uh, the Apex Court had issued a very clear directions that we're giving you three months' time, pay that amount of 75 crore rupees, see if there's some room of settlement as far as Marans are concerned. However, that amount did not get paid up. Subsequently, the Delhi High Court said uh, you have to pay uh, the entire arbitral amount. They challenged that before the Apex Court. And today is when the hearing came up. Uh, Justice Chandrachud led bench uh, was not happy with the conduct of SpiceJet. They did not have kind words to say. Uh, as you said, they pointed out that this is uh, tantamount to luxury litigation where well-heeled parties are deploying a battery of lawyers to defeat the order of the Apex Court itself. Uh, he, in fact, went on to observe that... Uh, if the Supreme Court orders are not complied with, there should be consequences. There should be some degree of commercial morality. That's the message uh, that Justice Chandrachul wanted to send out. And with that, rejected uh, SpiceJet's application for an extension in terms of time for payment of that 75 crore rupees and instead has now said that the arbitral award in its entirety is payable. Now, what does that mean? Uh, the arbitral award goes back to 2018 for an amount of 579 crore rupees plus 18% simple interest. Now, it's the interest component that's the significant part here. The principal stands, uh, stands satisfied. 579 crore rupees has been paid. The contention is on the interest component. Marans now claim that an interest burden of 380 crore rupees needs to be paid up by the spice jet. So again, uh, more worries here for the cash-strapped airline. Well, speaking of aviation, uh, Ashpit, many thanks for joining us. Here's the latest in the GoFirst saga. U.S. engine maker Pratt & Whitney has said it will comply with Singapore arbitration trial.